In this module, we'll be covering the vision res structure framing. We're going to be on the slope framing panel, and we're going to start off with the frame edges. Inside of frame edges, we can save configurations, rafter framing at 8 and 12. So I'm going to have 2 by 8s as my hips and valleys and ridges. Rakes will be 2 by 4, and eaves will be 2 by 4. So I'm going to say OK from here. Select the entire roof, say finish. Take a look in 3D, and you notice that it broke everything out. It put the correct material where I need it, and also can see all the different planes that I need to frame with. So I'm going to go back to Roof Framing Plan, and I'm going to pick Frame Plane. I'm going to go through here, and it just happened to land on the one that I need. Cut rafters 2x6, and if you have to, if you have to go find that, you need to go down and find the rafter framing, cut rafters, and pick the correct one. We're going to pick the 2 by 6 say OK, and we are going to leave all this as is. We're going to offset top of core, and we're going to say OK. I'm going to go around and pick the different planes in this project, say Finish. Now that my rafters are there, I need to select a few items uh, just to kind of clean up my work area. So I'm going to pick my main roof, and I'm just going to type HH to hide that because I need to see the planes um, show up. So what I'm going to do is pick one of the planes. I'm going to type SA so I can get them all selected. And the justification for these planes need to be set on direction line. After they get their setting, now I can double click on one of the beam systems. And you'll notice that there's a direction line. I need to move this direction line to a central location that all the other rafters will be set to as well, all the other planes. So I'm going to set that right to the center. When I do the green check mark, it now moves all those rafters to the right location. So I'm going to set all these up and I'll be right back. Now that I've put those planes, uh, direction lines all in the right location, I put them right to this center point of where this location comes together. You can see now in 3D that all those rafters are now opposing one another. So they're all lined up. There's a couple of items that we need to address as far as the rafter entails. So we're going to pick one of the rafters and we're going to type SA so we can grab every one of those. SA is just select all. And then we're going to change this. The pitch that we currently have now is 8 and 12, so we need to change the uh, rafters that are currently in the project to an 8. This is going to go through and change all the ends. And then we're also going to change the fascia height to 3.5. And, and what this does is just clean up our ends to match the rest of the roof. So while we're in 3D, we can do our lookout tool. I'm going to pick the lookout tool to do our blocking. It's going to be set on rafter framing lumber 2x4. I'm going to start at the beginning. I'm going to do it 4 foot on center. I do want to remove the beam system for this, and I do want to do disallow beam joins. And I want the orientation of this to be flat, and I want it to be flush to top. So I'm okay with all these. Now I can go around and pick the locations that I want them to be in. I can pick the outside edge and go in two rafters for that. And this is going to be at the gable ends only. To do the color ties, I'm going to go back to my roof framing plan, pick the color tie, and then I'll make sure that I'm on rafter framing lumber, and I'm going to change that to a 2 by 4 and I want to do single rafter color tie. So when I pick this, it's going to place them in there just by clicking on one of them. So I'm going to go through here and get them where I need them. And then we'll take a look at them in 3D. Now we can see that the collar ties are in the right location. Now we can move to the purlin tool. So we're going to switch back to the roof framing plan. And we're going to sketch in our purlins. So let's pick the purlin tool. Let's pick the rafters that we want to add a purlin to. 
we're going to say finish from here and we're going to go pick the correct material so we're going to go down to rafter framing lumber and let's pick a two by six say okay and then we're just going to draw it into that location take a look at that in 3d and notice it put a purlin in there I'm going to continue to put the purlins in and we'll restart when I'm finished with those. Now that I have all the purlins in, for our next tool we're going to use the strut tool, but in order to do that we need to do some reference planes on top of our purlins so we can see that in our ceiling framing uh, view so we can add a multiply float beam so we can add our struts from the top of the rafter to the beam. So what we need to do is go to architecture, draw a reference plane, just pick the top of that purlin, place it, and let's go do the other one. Place that, and let's go ahead and select those lines that we just put inside there. And let's move them in by typing MV. Let's move them in a foot, one foot. Same way with this other one. We're going to select it. Type MV, move it inward a foot. So now that we, we can switch to our ceiling frame, our ceiling framing plan, and we need to draw the beams on top of here. So let's switch back to Vision Res, place beams, and we're going to do raised. So it's going to sit on top of some of the ceiling members below. So I'm going to say OK pick the area that I want, say finish, and then I get to pick the beam that I want to use. So it's a 3-ply 2x12 multi-beam. So I'm just going to draw right over the top of this and also on the bottom one. Now when we go to our roof plan, we'll see those beams below. So let's take a look in 3D to see what we have going on. We have those beams below and this is where we're going to add our struts to. So I'm going to go back to our roof framing plan and we can get rid of these uh, reference plane lines now. So I'm just going to pick that one and say delete. Same way with the other one. Just pick and delete. And then I'm going to use the strut tool pick strut. And it's going to ask me if I want a strut type of 2D or 3D. I definitely want to see it in 3D so I know it's in the right location. Dimensional lumber is what we can use and it comes in 2 by 4 or 2 by 6. So let's pick the 2 by 4 and say OK. And let's just start picking our rafters and or our purlin and just pick down to the beam below. And we're going to pick every other one just like they would do out in the field. And when I'm done finish clicking all this, I'll return and show you what we finished. So now that we have the rest of the struts put in, we can take a look at this in 3D and see that our struts do come down and touch our beam below. And these that are at the different locations do touch the first four walls. So if we took a look at everything in 3D, scroll through here just to double check some of our um, struts locations and see that we do have everything in the right locations. And this covers a portion of slope framing.